good morning student today we will learn about window 7 i am going to start new chapter chapter 2 now open your book page number 13 ok we will learn about window 7 it is a operating system Window is an operating system that acts as an interface between the user and the computer. What is operating system? It is the interface between us and computer. Okay, it translates our language to computer language and computer language to our language. Okay, it is a mediator between the user and the computer. Window was developed by which company? Microsoft. Okay, world leading software company founded by Bill Gates. Okay, who founded the Microsoft company? Bill Gates. He is the founder of Microsoft and one of the richest man in the world. The first edition of Windows featuring a new user interface was introduced in 1995 and was called Windows 95. Okay, first window version is 9, window 95. Increased uses of technology and continuous research led to the development of advanced editions of windows named as after 95, win, then come window 98 will come, then windows 2000, then window ME, then window NT, and windows 2003, then XP, and Vista, and now we are following Windows 7. And the most recent release preview of Windows 8 you can see here is available for download in 14 languages. Now Windows 8, 8 is all, already come. MS-DOS was the most popular operating system chosen for IBM PC. IBM's version of DOS was called IBM DOS or PC DOS. Okay, DOS is the first operating system. It is very popular, this operating system. Now, move on to next topic. Features of Windows 7. Why we are, we are following Windows 7? Why this uh, version is very popular nowadays? Okay, and what are the features in it that we are following Windows 7? Windows 7 has become very popular because of its user-friendly environment and it is, it is easy to use, menu-driven, graphic following. Silent feature of Windows 7 are as follows. It is faster, more reliable and secure. It is easy to use and learn and better memory management. And more personal you can Redecorate your desktop with new themes. In the Windows 7, we have a facility. We can decorate our desktop with new coming themes, slideshows, or handy gadgets. Jump list in Windows 7 take you right to the document. What is the use of jump list? It is the feature of Windows 7 that you write to the documents, pictures, songs, or website you use every day windows taskbar this is the taskbar okay where the start button is located better thumbnail preview easier to see icons and pin them as desired by the user windows provides the arrow peak feature also what is the arrow peak feature that makes your open windows transparent so you may see your desktop also with your windows Okay, this is arrow peak feature. Now next, it also allows you to peek at items on your taskbar for a thumbnail preview. Maintains personalized work environment through multiple user support. And lets you enjoy music, videos, CD, DVD, MP3 and high definition games on your home PC. And support 
global connectivity, receive and send emails, view files and run programs on your computer from anywhere in the world. Now there is one tip for you. To know more about the various features of Windows 7, click on Start, then All Programs, Accessories and Getting Started option. Okay, click on Getting Started. Now there is one quick quiz. Students, before we move further, can you quickly name the latest version of Windows for a single user environment? Just think about it and search on the net. Next, using desktop. What is desktop? The word desktop is derived from the real life text. Okay. The top of are working like study table where you may find pen stand. Notepad, calculator, file, etc. Okay, these things we keep on our desk. Just like desktop of window also reserve the same purpose. This is our desktop. Okay, we can find various icons like object, shortcuts icon, document icon, disk drive icons, etc. On our desktop, we will find the taskbar at the bottom. You can see this is the taskbar bottom of the screen that display the start button on the left side this is the start button and the program that you have opened appear in the form of buttons on it it holds the notification area this is the notification area right of the on the right side which includes a clock and some icons these icons represent the program that are loaded in Chrome at the time of startup the icons play a very important role in graphical user interface. Let's know about commonly used icons. First is my computer or computer. It gives you a view of available drives and their content stored on the computer system. On my computer icon, we can see our drives and how many files are there, how many space are users there, any whole computer description on this icon. Double clicking on a drive icon will display the folder contained in that drive. Next is application icon. Application icons are the graphical image that give a quick access to the related applications. Now next shortcut icon. What is shortcut icon? It is an icon containing a direct route to a specific application, document or folder. Okay. We can Click on this and we can find our shortcut very quickly. It has a small jump arrow on its lower side. Now next, document icon. The active document window of an application can be minimized to a document icon. It gets placed on the top. You can restore the document window by clicking on the document icon. Next, is network for internet connection allow you to access a shared file or devices on different computers in a network environment next recycle bin it works like a trash bin like dustbin used for throwing unwanted papers these papers can be taken out if needed recycle in its folder that hold the deleted object until it is emptied, we can take back the deleted files and restore them to their original B locations. Now there is one more the fact. A file is a basic unit of storage in Windows that enables a computer to distinguish one set of information from another. Now you can save your work as a file on a computer by specifying name to it. File name consists of two main parts, the file name and the extension. A folder, folder is like a file cabinet in which you can store files. Arranging files into logical groups make the computer easy to locate any file. Now next option is Windows Explorer. Next topic, Windows Explorer. What is the use of Windows Explorer? Windows Explorer is an application that provides detailed information about files, folder, 
and drives. You can use it to see how your file organized and your coin copy, move, rename or search for files and folders. Okay, with this option, we can it, it provides detailed information about our all the files, folders and drives and how many drives are there in our computer and how many folders are there and in folder how many subfolder and files are there okay all the information we can see in with the in windows explorer now there is one fact file originally windows 7 was named as blackcom which was renamed as mina in early 2006 okay in 2008 it was announced that windows 7 would be the official name the operating system.